Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's another Christmas vlog. It's the 20 yeah, it's the 28th of December 2018. This vlog is actually going to extend to New Year. What are you going to be seeing in this vlog? Just a commute from here to Anambra State, which is not so far. Maximum of two hours journey. Um yeah, and then all the serere in Anambra State. Hopefully we get really good stuff going on there probably have a walk around with my husband and things like that get to meet my husband maybe maybe in the vlog village right now everywhere is quiet it's evening already it's 4 p.m. and the road to Anambra is proper smooth as you could see yeah they have better roads than in most states anyway um, yeah we're here is this <laughs> now you're smiling <laughs> good morning guys is the um, 29th of December Anyway, sorry guys, yesterday my battery went off when I was trying to say something. But yeah, um, it's about, I think, past nine in the morning. This is Izu. Izu is um, one of my, my husband, the brother, the one before him, the wife's son. Their son, when I was saying the wife's son. So yeah, Izu says hi. Are you trying to show them your sandals? It's very cute. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, like I was saying, this morning we had morning prayers, five in the morning, and is it on under my camera again? Oh yeah, dance. Let me video you. Dance. Dance now. Dance. Oh yeah, dance. Oh, yeah. Stay in the middle. Dance. Oh yeah, shake your bumbo. 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 <laughs> anyway, guys, we had our early morning prayers about past to six in the morning which doesn't happen every day in our house and after that all the women that's the ones that have been married into the family oh my, oh my god all went down to the kitchen all went down to the kitchen to cook so we made um fufu and i think a goosey mixed with a type of soup shop. the men are going for a village meeting so we had to cook for them before they left and yeah there's nothing to do now I'm about to shower and after that hopefully I have like I think three days left we're living here on the 1st of January I had to pack my hair up like this because I was tired of sleeping with the bantu knots anyway um, this is the compound this is what it looks like it's massive loads of children everywhere because obviously my husband has a lot of brothers and sisters as well so it's like a small community all in one house. So I'm going to go and make afternoon food. So you're going to see the local way of preparing and eating here in the village. So we're about to start cooking and we need planks. We need to get small planks and just lay up on them.
Guys, this is the well and this is where we get most of our water. Like I said, there isn't water in this village. And Jesus Christ. Woo! It's so deep. So that's how it's done. Mommy, come try here. In the kitchen as you could see I tried fetching water from the well and this village is more villagey I don't know if you understand it's more villagey than my village not to say that we don't have firewood or tripod stand for cooking in my village but I feel like I've been privileged all my life that every single time we go back to the village for Christmas or New Year People are there cooking for us, so we don't even know, not that we don't know, we do know, but like, I'm so used to cooking with gas or stove or whatnot, and I've never actually had to experience cooking with firewood. I just see it, I watch people do it, I eat from whatever that is being cooked with firewood, but I've never done it myself, and it's, it, it has actually humbled me. My husband's village is nothing but very village. I expected it to be a bit more, maybe average, maybe like cooking with stove and stuff. It's almost the same thing with my place. Like everyone is from one pot. That community kind of thing is still here. It's still like A1 here. And yeah, being here has just taught me a lot about where I'm from and where I'm heading to. You know the transition from the life I had with my you know dad's area my dad's village and my mom's village and the life here in Anambra state Aguluizibo is totally different like I said there is no water you saw me trying to get water from the well I just can't I've never had to draw water from the well like <laughs> I know some of you that have done it will be looking at me like auntie I have never like all my life I've been used to borehole tap water go to the tap turn it on fetch water that's it there is no borehole in this village so fam if you need water you have to go to the well and draw water for yourself and it's been a humbling experience i've fam i've had to learn a lot there is no internet here so whenever you get this video it's probably going to be the first week or second week of january no internet at all in my village at least i could assess airtel and mtn that's that mister down there. I could assess Airtel and MTN. I could even upload the video here. I can only make calls with my MTN. I can't even browse, like, I can't even go on my Instagram. I can't do nothing with my phone. So it's literally going to be four days of <laughs> proper village life. I, I was complaining about my village, but here is the real, <laughs> this is the real village. Look at those chickens. Anyway, this is where we get our firewood for cooking. My beans is still on fire. I'll go cut my yam soon because I'm making beans and yam and yeah hopefully you find this vlog very interesting because this village is quite interesting. Did I tell you guys that there is a goat area where the rare goats here? So I'm going to show you guys maybe after cooking where the small goats kid, maybe that's what they call it. Baby goat is a kid Abby. Where they rare the goats, what they eat, everything. The yam I peeled, the back of the yam, um, goats, they eat it. So I want to go feed them in their mental home. The home is just by the kitchen, just that small gate there. 
I'm just going to take their food and give them. Hopefully, I don't scream. No, no, no. Move back, move back. <laughs> oh, no. Move. Shoot, 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 shoot. So I'm here to feed my little babies. <laughs> See how they're following me. So I'll put some here. I'll put some there. <laughs> and then I'll put some here. For them, they're eating. Of December 2018 as you can see I'm wearing what my mother-in-law gave me my husband and I and my mother-in-law babe say hi Hello. you've not actually entered this um, Anambra <laughs> stage vlog guys this is a rush makeup so don't judge me please or don't judge me I'm serving Beyonce with this hat that's my my mom my mom-in-law oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I'm not going to go to the room from head to toe. In a word. In the YouTube. In the YouTube. Can you do YouTube? Oh, oh video name. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, mommy, in law. We're going to church now. Okay. And yeah, when we get back, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm still flowing. Anyway, guys, we just finished from church service. You know how it is with African Nigerian moms, Wait, especially my that? mom. Is in my phone. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, you know how it is with Nigerian parents. They have to greet everybody, the congregation, before we start going. We have I'm on hills. Fam, I can't do it no more. We've been greeting the whole church. We're waiting for her anyway. So um, after this, we're going to visit a few people, three families actually, we're going to visit. And then after that, we'll go home. Fam, I'm so hungry. I haven't had breakfast and it's past 12, it's 12.30 actually. But anywho, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. Um, today, like I said earlier, is the 30th, tomorrow 31st. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, I get to go to the Ibuku Museum tomorrow and then towards evening, I'll go for crossover service here, this Anglican church. And then, um, um, first, we're going back to Portacot. No chill. I haven't really showed you guys like the village, the um, Aguluzibo village. But anyway, yeah. Um, remember when I talked about the meeting of Omuwanyi and Omon? Babe, So for me who I married an Anambra man, I will join the meeting of Umuyum. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Please let me know if I pronounce it right. Umuyum. So that's the meeting for women that are married to a certain place. Married to women and who are married into the village yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying into a particular village so if you're like i'm from Imo state he's anambra i'm married into anambra state so i'll be attending the umuyum village meeting right yes. and it's usually yearly yeah. and then there's a branch one they have in portacos if probably you live in portacos or Aba or Iboi, lagos wherever you live you can be attending the monthly one there and be paying the dues there basically what happens in the meeting is that they just contribute to the village it's like a development kind of thing contributing charity works name it that's what they do same as the omona if you're a man at some point in your life if you're living in the east you'll be going for certain meetings that i wouldn't say qualify you but makes you recognize that's when they'll know okay, onya, onya. this is this person this is mr peter this da 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 and if you if paraventure maybe in future you want to go for a chieftaincy title it's going to be a smooth transition 
because obviously you've been going for that meeting for years and stuff everyone knows you your village people they know you so it's good so say no to individualism that is why at this point at this age you know people are no more interested in things like this but that's one thing that keeps us together that's what that's the only way we get to know each other that's the only way we call ourselves umunne, one that one day you hear of people don't just know people like that it's true these little little things that obviously they are present for that gets you to know okay this person is from this village this one is from that village this one is that. that's how they know people from those little things that you become part of. so yeah i hope i i hope i explained obviously as time goes on i'll explain it a bit more i haven't joined the meeting yet i've been told that my name has been mentioned but obviously at some point i'll start attending the meeting so they will be coming to formally to see you on the second, second. or second be yeah we won't be there for the meeting it's like an initiation that they are bringing me to join part of the umuinyo <laughs> abi they'll eat drink and then register me probably will pay a fine or something i don't know but yeah that's it. Quite interesting, quite intense, and yeah. It's the last day in Agulusi, Anaura State. Anyway, it's the 31st of December 2018 today. And like I promised in the beginning of this vlog, we're going to a museum. We don't know if that museum is even going to be open by this time, but we're just going to give it a shot. That's the Ibuku, babe. Yeah, Ibuku Museum. Ibuku Museum here in Anambra State. So um, let's go see what's up. Aguata. Yeah, book is in Aguata. Yeah, okay. Aguata local. What's the local government here? Anocha. Anocha. Anocha local government. Anocha, Anocha. 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 Sorry, you. Anocha. Anocha. Sorry, you. Sorry, you. Now I'm a full bred, bred Anambra state girl. Yeah. They have they have made me denounce my state. Anyway, guys, um, after the visitation to the museum, yeah, the vlog should be ending today because tomorrow we're going back to PH. The, the sun is <laughs> the thing is burning my skin. It is burning my skin. <laughs> on the 31st imagine this bar not open it doesn't even look like a place that see cobwebs everywhere like fam no maintenance nothing it's a disappointment a festive period like this Ibo should be open Ibuku museum Ibuku museum i'm calling people out you guys should be they wrote here tourism aguata local government aguata, area no, aguata. babe aguata let's call it properly aguata, aguata local government area you guys are meant to be open it's called tourism tourists can pop in anytime any day especially the festive period especially this festive period yes we understand that people have to also celebrate but they have to do delegation of duties or share but at least people should always be available. I don't know, like, it's so sad. I really wanted to come here, like, because I Because bet... most people will never have the time to, you know, most people will come to their village during the festive period, either during Christmas, Christmas or Easter. Easter. And the, these are periods, these people are never Peak around. periods most that people should be here. opening. They're it's sad. Around. I really wanted to see what's up, what's in this Iboku museum. But really, like, if I have all I'm not or the Roma now, because I can do it or the Roma. It's where in a cool 
Kulobia village. I pronounced it right. Kulobia. A Kulobia in Aguata local government. So we passed Iswafia. Iswafia and yeah, we passed Iswafia before we got to Kulobia. Unfortunately, the joint where we went to to have Nkwabi, they've shut down. So we're going to Agulu. You know there is Agulu and there is Agulu Zibo in Anocha local government area. So I've mentioned two local government areas now in Anambra State. I'm not sure if that's Okay, I think, yeah, Agulu is in Anocha. If Agulu Zibo is very close to Agulu. It's not by, it's not close to our village. I don't understand the local government. It's not by reading close. Sometimes the demarcation can always be very close. Uh, oh, okay. So we have Agulu Zibo and we have Agulu. So though, if someone tells you they are from Agulu, they are from Agulu. If someone tells you that they are from Agulu Zibo, it doesn't mean that they are from Agulu. They are two different villages. There's even Aguleze Chuku. There's Aguleze Chuku. There's Agulu Zibo. There's Agulu. So this. So don't get it twisted. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> anyway, we're leaving Ekulobia now back to Anocha local government because we're in Aguata local government. So we're just looking for an Unkwabi joint where we can chop Unkwabi. If you're Igbo, in fact, if you're even Nigerian, you should know. If you've tasted Unkwabi, <laughs> you should know the, the sweetness in that thing. I'm soba. I go to the owner. She asks, "I'm soba. Can they have number? If I'm able, I'm soba. Can they buy? I'm an ayah, but I go a number state. I no bagom. Ni ma number. They fan and they papa. They feni le dan. They feke feke. Hello, one ne. I no batagom. So I'm soba. Can they fan? Ta fa fa fa. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, it, it will be too foreign. They will know that I'm foreign, Abi. Anyway, um, yeah, we're in Agulu. Not Agulu Zibo, Agulu. A village in Anocha. So we're in Afo Agulu. And yeah, we stopped at the local joint to have Nkwabi, but unfortunately they don't have Nkwabi, they have Ishiwu. You know, I was ignorant about the difference between Nkwabi and Ishiwu before I came here. Nkwabi, like they told me, is Anuefi, that's the body of a cow, but Ishiwu is the head of a goat. I thought they were all the same until one with the brain, the goat, the, everything about the head from here up. Imagine a human head. Just imagine the goat. That's the shield. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're about to have that. And hopefully, we couldn't even, we're just maneuvering. We're just going from village to village. Just driving through villages like i said before we went to east Sofia, we went to kulobia we even passed the nanka nanka we passed so many villages before we came here in search of Nkobi. <laughs> today you how serious this Nkobi is but at the end of the day we're not having Nkobi anymore we're having issue which is better according to my husband but anyways I just ordered me an Amstel Moat and yeah, just be chilling. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying.
small one has the eyes, mm. and this one is the head. The ear. No, these are the, the other parts of the head. Oh, this you is the, the eyes ear, and the ears. Ear and the tongue. The tongue. Uh, the tongue. Wow. Oh, that's very delicious. <laughs>